During the Second Sino-Japanese War, the Chinese Air Force operated a wide range of aircraft models. While some are quite well known, there are many which are relatively obscure. One such example was the Northrop Alpha, a plane built in the early 1930s and mainly used by the American airline TWA. With only 17 ever built, some might find it surprising that two of these planes would eventually find themselves on the other side of the world being used by the Chinese military during the Second Sino-Japanese War. The plane, as well as how some of them ended up in the possession of the Chinese Air Force, will be the topic of this video. The Northrop Alpha was a passenger transport aircraft developed by the Northrop Corporation in 1930. It had a very interesting and unique design, with the pilots seated towards the middle of the fuselage in an open cockpit, while the passengers sat towards the front, just behind the engine. Despite features such as the open cockpit and fixed landing gears, it was still a very advanced plane for its time. The Northrop Alpha was one of the earliest American-made, all-metal, stressed-skin, low-wing monoplanes, and was constructed of aluminum alloy. It was also the first to make use of a multicellular wing structure, a feature which was revolutionary at the time. Other features, such as rubber de-icing boots on the wings, as well as radio navigation equipment, allowed the aircraft to be flown at night and in harsh weather conditions. Powered by a 420-horsepower Pratt & Whitney R1340 Wasp 9-cylinder air-cooled radial engine, the Northrop Alpha had a cruising speed of 230 km per hour and a top speed of 280 km per hour. The planes also had a maximum range of roughly 1,100 kilometers and a service ceiling of around 5,900 meters. With a length of 8.6 meters, a height of 2.7 meters, and a wingspan of 12.8 meters, the plane weighed around 2,000 kilograms when fully loaded. The Northrop Alpha came in a number of different variants, with some being used to carry passengers, others to transport cargo, and some carrying a mixture of both. The designation of Alpha-1 was assigned to the prototype X-2W, and as such, the first variant to enter production was known as the Alpha-2. This was the standard passenger version of the Northrop Alpha and could carry up to six passengers in the cabin. The Alpha-3 variant only had room for two passengers, with the remaining space being used for mail and cargo. Many of the original Alpha-2s were eventually converted to Alpha-3s. The last variants of the Northrop Alpha were known as the Alpha-4 and Alpha-4A. None of the Model 4s or 4As were built from scratch by Northrop, and were instead converted from previous models. Since these planes were to only carry cargo, the conversion process involved the removal of the passenger seats. Many of the windows in the cabins were covered as well. The plane's wingspan was increased by 0.6 meters, and a slightly more powerful 450 horsepower Pratt & Whitney Wasp SC-1 engine was installed. To increase the plane's aerodynamics, a streamlined covering was installed over the fixed landing gears, with this style often being referred to as a trousered style landing gear. These modifications provided a slight increase to the plane's top speed and max payload. The Alpha 4As also had additional de-icing equipment installed on the wings and tails. A total of 17 Northrop Alphas were built between 1930 and 1931, 12 Alpha 2s and 5 Alpha 3s. Of the 17 built, 14 of them were purchased by Transcontinental and Western Air, or TWA, being used to carry passengers and cargo. By 1932, the TWA planes had all been modified to Alpha 4s or 4As. Despite being very advanced for its time, the availability of larger, multi-engine aircrafts meant that their days with TWA were numbered. By 1935, the Northrop Alphas would be phased out by TWA, and subsequently sold off. Two of the Alphas were purchased by China and would be used by the Chinese Air Force. The first plane, NC-933Y, was manufactured on November 10, 1930 as an Alpha II. In April of 1931, the plane was purchased by TWA and soon converted to an Alpha III, with several passenger seats removed to make room for cargo. A few months later in August, it was then converted to an Alpha IV. In May of 1932, NC-933Y would receive yet another update, being converted from a Model 4 to a Model 4A. In July of 1935, TWA sold NC-933Y to the Chinese, and soon after, the plane was shipped to China through the city of Hong Kong. The second plane, NC-961Y, had a history very similar to that of NC-933Y. Initially built as an Alpha II, it was first converted to an Alpha III, then IV, and eventually to an Alpha IVa. NC-961Y was also operated by TWA before eventually being sold off to China in 1935. The service history of the two planes in the Chinese Air Force isn't very clear. 
Some sources suggest that the Alphas were initially assigned to a transport unit, possibly the second transport squadron. However, by mid to late 1937, at least one of the planes had ended up with the 8th Air Group. At the start of the war, the 8th Air Group, or the 8th Bomb Group, consisted of three bomber squadrons. The 10th Squadron, equipped with Italian Savoia Marchetti S-72s, the 19th Squadron with German Heinkel HE-111s, and the 30th Squadron with American Martin 139 WCs. As the Northrop Alpha was a civilian plane and didn't carry any bombs or armaments, it wasn't assigned to any of the three squadrons and was instead kept at the air group level, being used for roles such as transport and reconnaissance. While in the Chinese Air Force, the planes were repainted in olive green, with blue and white stripes added on the rudder and nationalist roundels painted on the wings. A number was painted in white towards the rear of the fuselage, with the plane seen here being numbered 8-2. The Roman numeral 8 denotes that this plane belongs to the 8th Air Group instead of to a particular squadron, and the Arabic numeral 2 suggests that this is the second plane of the group. Some sources have suggested that this plane may have been piloted by the deputy commander of the 8th Air Group. Unfortunately, the final fate of the two planes is unknown. If they weren't destroyed in accidents or by Japanese planes, they likely would have eventually been grounded due to a lack of spare parts, a fate which befell many early war Chinese planes. Although the impact the two Northrop Alphas had on the war was minimal, their design was used as the basis for the Northrop Gamma, a plane which was also used by the Chinese Air Force during the early years of the war. China would purchase a total of nearly 50 Northrop Gammas, with many being assembled domestically. And unlike the Alphas, which didn't play an important role in the war, the Gammas would be remembered as one of the more successful light bombers of the Chinese Air Force during the Second Sino-Japanese War.